One of the great things about Google Plus is how easy it is to share a post, uh, to spread information from one user to another, um, effectively help things go viral if they're popular, or just to share good tips and advice you find from other folks. Um, offhand sharing a post is very easy. I see this video Derek posted. I might think that's cool. I can click the share button. Um, it'll pop his post in there. I can leave some comments at the top. Choose who I want to share it with. You know, I may want to just keep it public to the people that follow me and hit share and it's done. It's that simple. Uh, there's a few other pieces you should know first. Uh, in this case, his video, he, this post is public. Um, as a result, I can share it any way I want. If he had posted it only to limited people, perhaps I was in his friend's circle or something like that, I don't have the option then to make it public. Google locked that down. There was some criticism about that early on. Uh, you can argue both ways because, again, once something on online, anyone could copy and paste it and share it anywhere they want, as public as they want. But Google wants to make it difficult for people to, to do silly things like that. You know, and in my case, I have noticed a few times where I went to share something public, you know, not realizing it had been shared privately. So if nothing else, that, that notice helps quite a bit. Um, another example here with Derek, he shared a post that Tom wrote. And so I can say, cool, I want to share this one too. Uh, two problems arise though. One, when I share it, it's going to come straight from Tom to me, and Derek's going to get left out of the loop. I really found it because of Derek. So a good piece of etiquette, I could add my commentary about the post, but then at the bottom I should say, you know, via Derek, and I could list him here, or something similar, just so people realize I found it through him. I want to give him credit for, you know, unva unveiling that information to me. But the other problem here is we lose Derek's commentary. In a lot of cases when someone shares something, they leave some commentary. And he says he came up with a great list here. And I might agree with what he had to say. And Google really needs, I think that's something they need to fix. There needs to be a way to include that commentary along with it. Because a lot of times the commentary that the second person writes about the first post is really quite good. And there's really not a good solution for that. Um, often what I'll do there is just copy and paste that text. And I'll copy it, then hit share, and then paste his text. Um, I can say something like, you know, I thought that you know Derek Ross had had some good things to say, but you can you know type up your thing there. But kind of mention that you can use some of the markup. Maybe I want to italicize what Derek had said. Do something like that. But if nothing else, it's just something to keep in mind when you share it. Suddenly, if you share, if you reshare a share, you kind of lose that person in the middle. And sometimes that's okay. You don't want to have via 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 going down from all all the train of where it shared from. But on the other hand, you don't want to short people like that either. If Derek's taking the time to share it, and it's because of him that I found it, I want to make sure he's credited that way. So my followers, you know, some of them may then say, oh, this Derek guy, you know, he brings out some cool stuff. I ought to follow him too. And it's a good way to help him out with that kind of thing. So um, the bottom line is it's really easy to share things. Um, Google's done a great job with it, and it can really help, help posts go further. So write some great content, and hopefully people share it around and get you a little more exposure. Thanks.